Hi everyone, Susan with LifeSkate.com here with Rachel Flatt. She flew cross country from her home in Colorado Springs to skate at Rockefeller Rink for the Today Show. So first I want to ask you, what was that experience like skating at Rockefeller Rink? Well, you know, it was absolutely incredible. I had so much fun. <laughs> you know, I mean, how can you not enjoy skating at Rockefeller Center? You know, in the heart of New York City and everything. So it was just a fantastic experience. I just met Matt Lauer, so that was pretty cool. You know, I watch the Today Show almost every morning. What's your mindset going into nationals? I'm very excited. It's an incredible competition, but you know, this year there will be a lot more hype surrounding it, especially leading into the Olympics. So I'll have to prepare myself for that a little bit. You know, make sure that I'm I'm used to that kind of pressure and you know excitement in the arena. But, um, you know, I'm very trained and I'm certainly looking forward to it. What's it going to take to win nationals for you? <laughs> well, for me, you know, it's not just about winning. Um, you know, I, my ultimate performance goal is just to skate like I've trained and, you know, just have a lot of fun. You know, I kind of want to break a barrier with how I've been training and perform that way. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that and hopefully I'll, I'll push through that this year. <laughs> Do you feel a little more pressure going to nationals this year because there is an Olympic spot on the line? Absolutely, you know, everyone uh, at school and at skating is like, you know, so how do you feel going to nationals? So it's becoming a common question, um, but you know, I, uh, I'm getting used to the idea of it um, and I'm, I'm, I know there will be a lot of pressure there, but uh, you know, I think as long as I keep doing what I've been doing, you know, I, I should be fine. <laughs> Now, there was a lot of buzz at Skate America because you did beat Yuna Kim in the free skate. How much of a confidence boost was that for you? You know, it was certainly a great confidence booster for me. Um, at the same time, though, she didn't have her best skate, um, but it was still an honor to have won the free skate. Uh, you know, I skated very well, and I'm ecstatic with how, uh, with how I performed. So, um, you know, I still have things to work on, though, and I hope to improve upon my performance at nationals. When you're out on the ice, your biggest competitor is yourself because you want to be the best that you can be. How do you balance that competing within yourself and against other people? You know, it's difficult sometimes, but for me, I get focused and I, you know, I literally get in my own little world just so I can ensure that I do what I've trained and execute programs the way I would like to. So it is difficult, you know, especially with the crowd's excitement or the skater having a fantastic performance and, you know, things like that. When we're on the warm ups, you, know, you constantly have to make sure that you pay attention to your surroundings rather than just your skating. So it's it's a fine balance between the, the two worlds, essentially, and being very introverted and extroverted at the same time, focusing on what you're doing and you know, the world around you at that point. So you have to be very aware. It's it's hard, but you know I'm getting used to it. What are your thoughts about Sasha Cohen's comeback? She's a fierce competitor. I'm sure she'll be very ready for nationals. Uh, I'm not expecting anything less than her best as she always competes. So. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to it and I'm sure it'll be great competition. Do you see yourself going towards the 2014 games? Because you're only 17. I certainly think I can go for another four years. It'll be interesting juggling college and skating rather than high school and skating. But, you know, I'm looking forward to it. It's just another challenge and I'm sure it'll be great.